My name is William Pearson. I'm running for at-large state rep Cheshire 16. First, I'd like to thank Cheshire TV for allowing us to use their facilities and their commitment to, uh, to democracy by inviting myself and the other candidates here. It's always encouraging to see democracy working so well at these levels. Um, that being said, my name is William Pearson. I'm running to be one of Keene's at-large state representatives. The city of Keene consists of five voting wards, each with their own state representative and two at-large seats, which represent the entire city. Residents from Ward 1 have gotten to know me these past two years because I was fortunate enough to be their representative-elect in 2014. And during my term, I spent most of, much of my time learning the legislative process in Concord and, and listening to constituents here in Keene so that I'd be best prepared to represent them uh, at-large for these next two years. Indeed, one of the reasons that I'm running at large right now is because I feel that I now have the experience required to do the job. The other reason is, of course, because I love this city and, and I think I can make it even better. Here's how, in a word, infrastructure. New Hampshire consistently ranks near last out of the 50 states uh, concerning infrastructure funding, and it certainly shows. The unusually harsh winter of 2014 illustrates the state's inability to grasp this problem. I witnessed the debates at the State House about funding for the Department of Transportation, and it was like pulling teeth just to get support, uh, just to support the department enough to fund their snow plowing efforts. Uh, herein lies the problem. Funding infrastructure should not take political dentistry. While it may seem frugal uh, to put bridge and road maintenance off until the next budget cycle, the damage and wear compounds, and so, so too do, do, do the repair costs in the interim. This still ignores the necessary infrastructure the state is going to need to undertake to attract new business, an issue that has proved vexing for, for, for New Hampshire counties, uh, I guess that really the, the only exceptions being Hillsborough and Rockingham. I, I know about the progress of these counties well because I was raised in Hillsborough County uh, in, the, in the town of Bedford. I've seen how Manchester and Portsmouth have benefited from modern rights of way and broadband access. I want to see the same here in Keene. It is true that Cheshire County is not far behind our neighbors to the east, but that figurative last mile may indeed be the toughest. Hillsborough and Rockingham County uh, both have broadband coverage reaching upwards of 95%. Uh, Hillsborough, I actually think, has 98%. Uh, Cheshire County, just slightly above 75%. From my parents' house in Bedford, it is easier and, and more practical for me to work out of Boston than it is for me to work here in state in Keene. And that really needs to change if we want to see business growth. If these solutions are available, why then haven't they been done? It's, it's really a question I still ask myself, and, and not just about infrastructure. The answer, at least in part, is revealed in my recollection of the 2014 New Hampshire winter. The state's reluctance to fully fund the Department of Transportation so that they could simply plow the roads shows how much is done in New Hampshire through the lens of frugality. Uh, as a benefit to these purse-pinching measures, New Hampshire is a donor state to the federal government, I think we receive around 60-something cents back for every dollar we spend to the federal government. And, and, and we consistently have some of the best public educators for a fraction of what it would cost us to get that education elsewhere. Uh, as a side note, imagine what, what we would gain if we funded our public education at the levels they requested. Um, so, so the drawbacks, however, are just as numerous and perhaps more onerous than ever. Uh, our, our quest to cut spending results in deliberately low budget estimates which hamstrings the budget drafting process and results in general fund surplus, uh, surpluses every biennium. It's actually something Governor Maggie Hassan's campaigning on in her, in her race against uh, Kelly Ayotte. Um, but it's unfortunate, and, and it results in politicians pledging to never compromise on tax issues, and, and it results in a stagnant economy where our unemployment is more a measure of people who have left the state uh, in, in search of work elsewhere than it is a measure of jobs left open. As a representative from Keene, I will help mitigate or eliminate the state's deficiencies in these areas of infrastructure and, and many more which, which time doesn't allow me to illuminate. I will continue to cultivate uh, and maximize the potential within Keene, Cheshire County and, and indeed New Hampshire through dogged work, smart compromise and honest discourse. I'd like to thank Cheshire TV again and I'd like to thank you all for listening. I look forward to your support, support in November.